I recently bought these reproduction carburetors. They're a copy of the Solex carbs that I have on the 356 and the 912. I bought these carburetors off of eBay. There's several people selling them for about 550 bucks for the set. But the question is, are they any good? Everything looks pretty much the same. And they come with the same size jets. The original Solexes are definitely much heavier than these new carbs. I'm going to be installing these on the 356. These are the carburetors that I've had on the 356, and I've just never been able to get them to idle correctly. And that could be as a result of just being kind of worn out. You can see there's some kind of wear along the side there. Hopefully since these are new, all the tolerances and clearances are going to be better, and hopefully that's going to fix my problem. Okay, so I got them on the car. Let's see how it runs. To adjust dual carbs, you need to get the engine to idle at least a little bit, and then you need to synchronize the carbs. To do that, you use an air meter, and you check to make sure that each carburetor is sucking in the same amount of air. You adjust how much air is being sucked in by adjusting the idle screw. Once you have the carburetor synced, you can start adjusting the air-fuel mixture screws. In this case, we have four screws, one for each cylinder. The way that I do this is I start with the mixture screws about one to one and a half turns out, and then I screw them in very slowly until I hear the RPMs drop just a little bit. And once I hear that, then I back them out about an eighth to maybe a quarter of a turn. As you're doing this, the engine will begin to run better, which means it will start to run at a higher RPM. So of course, then you'll have to adjust the idle back down by using the idle adjustment screws. And when you do that, you will take the carburetors out of sync. So you will once again use your air meter and you will synchronize the carburetors again. So I just keep adjusting the air fuel mixture screws, then the idle, then syncing the carburetors. I just do that over and over and over until I'm happy with the way that the engine runs and idles. In this case, that took about 20 or 30 minutes. And now the car runs really good. It actually idles better than it ever has. The car drives exactly as it did with the other carburetors, same acceleration, same power. It just idles much better now. So, are these knockoff carburetors good? Yeah, I would say so. You can get this brand new set for basically the same price as a used set of Solexes that need to be rebuilt. And I would say the quality of these carburetors seems to be about as good as the Solexes. In my case, I would say they're in better condition than my worn out Solexes. So overall, I'm very happy with my purchase. If you're going to buy a set, do what I did. Open them up, make sure there's no debris inside, make sure everything's tight and all the seals are sealed correctly. And you should be fine. Hope this video was helpful. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you liked the video, hit the like button. Thanks, guys. Bye. Now I just need to figure out how to put this transmission back together so I can put it in the 356.